thank you. Uh, Admiral, two questions on Iran. Um, how is POTUS Biden going to deal with Iran? Oh, I mean, which aspects of dealing with Iran is he going to prioritize in the next six months in office? And w which one of them would he be recommending to be POTUS Harris if and when she gets to the White House again? And my second She's question, already at the White House. She's already a key partner in our foreign policy objectives. If I would tell you that uh, you're going to continue to see over the next six months the same focus by this administration and this team, which of course includes the Vice President, on holding Iran accountable for all their destabilizing activities, support to the Houthis, to Hezbollah, to Hamas, the merchant uh, attacks that they're allowing the Houthis to continue to perpetrate and that they're perpetrating themselves. Uh, in the Gulf region, as well as their support to Russia and Russia's war in Ukraine. I could go on and on. We have sanctioned Iran some 600 different times just in the last three and a half years of this administration. We'll continue to hold them accountable. That will be a steady focus for the president. The Israeli Prime Minister yesterday uh, labeled those part of the protesters as uh, Iran's useful idiots. Uh, what is the administration's uh, of dealing with them, I mean, what is it? Well, first of all, that's not a phrase we would use, as I mentioned, I think, to Peter's question. Uh, we know that uh, Iran certainly has tried to meddle here. They've tried to sow discord. They've obviously contributed to some funding of some protesters, but um, I, I think to, to paint everybody with that brush is un unfortunate and not, and not an accurate reflection. Um, uh, most of the protest activity here in the United States is peaceful, most of it is, uh, by the vast majority of it, is organic. It comes from people who have real concerns. Um, and that's what a democracy is all about. And do you agree with the, uh, think, uh, with the Prime Minister's uh, assertion that uh, basically the, uh, Israel is protecting U.S.? Uh, I mean, uh, why um, is it sort of an overt criticism from leader of an ally? And what does U.S. need protection from an ally? I'm sorry, can you? Well, he said, when Israel fights Hamas, Hezbollah, Houthis, we are fighting Iran. When Israel acts to prevent Iran from developing nuclear weapons, we're not only protecting ourselves, we're protecting you. So why does the U.S. need protection from an ally? Um, isn't the U.S. doing enough? It is cl clear that, uh, that Israel and the United States share a concern about Iran's activities. Um, and. The Prime Minister is not wrong. When, you, um, when you're going after groups like Hezbollah or Hamas in this case particularly, uh, or when we together try to defend each other uh, against the Houthi missiles and drones that continue to fly, uh, that that is also uh, because of the proxy na 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 nature of it, also uh, countering Iran's activities. I mean, together, that's what allies and partners do. Thanks, John. Um, just to take the long view of this, um, very early in uh, President Biden's presidency, February the 4th, 2021, 